Uh, next, talking about Ravens versus Patriots. This was a very interesting one. Uh, first, getting this out of the way, there were some atrocious uh, conditions as far as the, as the weather, and that's obviously going to affect the teams. That's uh, going to affect how people perform. But I'm I'm worried about uh, the Ravens. If you've listened to the podcast uh, this year, I haven't been confident in the Ravens yet because they didn't show me last year in the playoffs to be confident in them. So I, I feel the exact same way I did last year. Uh, I'm just still not that confident in them. Uh, Lamar was decent this game. Had uh, completed 24 of his 34 passes, 249 yards, two touchdowns. Did have an interception. Also had 55 yards on the ground. Uh, but I'm just not that confident in them in a big playoff game because they truly lack that number one receiver. And they need to get more help with, for Lamar Jackson. It, it's an absolute must that... Lamar Jackson gets a number one guy because until they do, they're just not going to have that. There were so many drops in this game, which, again, makes sense because of the uh, conditions of the weather. But at the end of the day, these receivers just simply aren't that good. Marquise Brown has been kind of disappointing. Mark uh, Mark Andrews is their best receiver as a tight end. Uh, and even he's not been like crazy this season. He's been uh, very solid. Uh, and they're... Uh, play calling is super predictable. Even in uh, a Lamar Jackson interview, he was talking about how other teams were like calling out the plays they were running. Teams have caught on and are figuring out about this Baltimore Ravens team. I even I remembered when I was uh, watching something where someone was talking about how like they ran the first play. I think it was against the Indianapolis Colts. They ran the first, uh, the same first play at the beginning of the first half and their first play on the second half. Like, you just can't do stuff like that. They're becoming way too predictable. They don't have a truly number one receiver. Uh, and their play calling hasn't been that good. And Lamar Jackson has been super disappointing this year. After coming off a ridiculous MVP season, he just hasn't been that same dude. And I think it's due to people catching on to this uh, Ravens style of play and them catching on to their play calling and them uh, realizing that without a number one receiver, they're not going to be uh, nearly deadly enough to be a true, like, can. I don't think they're a true upper-tier contender. They're probably a second-tier contender, but I'd put them in the same range as, like, the Rams, honestly, where I just can't see them uh, winning a Super Bowl, to be honest. And if they have a matchup against a team with a really good coach like Bill Belichick, then I think it, it, they're screwed because Bill Belichick was running circles around this Ravens team as far as a coach. He was killing them, and... It was definitely an ugly look for them. Now, on the Patriots' side, they've played some very efficient football, ran the ball heavily, which made sense completely due to the weather conditions uh, and due to them not having much of a vertical threat anyway. Cam Newton completed 13-17 to 17 passes, 118 yards, and a touchdown. Jacoby Myers had 24 uh, yards and a touchdown passing on a trick play. That was super exciting. Beautiful throw from him. That was really impressive. It looks like the Patriots have found uh, their running back with Damian Harris. He's been playing some excellent football for us uh, i've really enjoyed watching him uh, and even though it's disappointing that Sh sony michelle isn't going to be our guy when we invested so much into him at least it, it's exciting to know that we have a guy in davian harris who's very very good uh, cam New newton also had a rushing touchdown jacoby myers i uh, had 59 yards receiving too he's stepped up big time with all these injuries and been really impressive uh, jc jackson had an interception he's so underrated i, I love jc jackson he's been incredible for the patriots for so many years now uh, and their defense just made a lot of very timely plays. Uh, Josh Uche got his first career sack. That was exciting to see. Uh, and Bill Belichick really coached up this defense and uh, stopped uh, the Ravens offense very, very well. I was incredibly impressed by the Patriots' performance. Still don't think they're going to make the playoffs because they're just not that talented and they dug themselves into a hole. Uh, but they can be a solid team that's going to be competitive probably around the 8-8 eight and eight range, I'd guess.